Left foot braking has many uses. It's a fundamental skill for off-roading. It controls wheel spin, helps prevent rollback on steep obstacles, and it also allows you to bump up or through an obstacle. I'm no expert here, I'm just sharing very useful and common knowledge. It seems that there's a lot of people out there that just aren't keen on using such a helpful technique. Here we are at the Hungry Valley State Vehicle Recreational Area and had some local people to me that were interested in learning some basic beginner off-road skills and thought it was great to start off with left foot braking. There we go, nice. All right, you're up. Okay, so just remember, um, modulate that brake pedal. They're really deep. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Hold on, man. I I think you're gonna scrape too much. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we're gonna do this. So. If you saw my last episode, then you know that the Subaru Forester is very special. It has a dual range transmission swap. It is a manual transmission. It has a front LC and a rear auto locker. We know it's capable enough to get through this frame twister obstacle. The Subaru just needs to increase its ground clearance enough to We're clear. So another part of this lesson yeah. is how to get through this. So you're not going to go into the ruts. You're going to straddle. Okay. Okay. So, so back it all. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Back it all the way up. Okay. And you're just going to straddle in between like right here, right here. Straddle. Perfect. All right. There you go. Yep. Nice. So there you go. If your vehicle doesn't have the rocker clearance, then you could try to straddle. Or if the ruts are just too deep, then I'd recommend not continuing. Yeah, if you want, just go all into the ruts, but you know how to left foot brake, right? Yeah, of course you do. All right. This is my friend Ian from Barilla Family Adventures, and he's not a beginner. You'll see that this traction control system is really effective. Ooh. <laughs> Just make sure that when you come down, you're hitting that brake. Ease down. Ease down. There you go. Woo. All right. <laughs> Okay, so right here you're gonna want to break. Yep. If you don't break, you're gonna slam down really violent. <laughs> so with that traction control system and four low, it was able to get through. Uh, those pathfinders, by the way, as of May 2023, they're going for just eight thousand dollars used. Oh man, Steve's gonna. I, I don't. I don't think that camera is gonna survive. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I guess it did. He's a smart guy. All right. He's gonna bump it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Before you do this, you have to know. I know those guys look, made it look nice and smooth. They're experienced. So what happens is when, you, when your wheel lifts up in the air, you have to use your left foot to hit that brake to slow yourself down. Otherwise, you're gonna slam, okay? You're gonna do this a little easier because you got more flex, but just remember when that wheel goes in the air and when you're coming down, hit that, yeah, hit that brake. All right. <laughs> Okay. 
so under the guidance of Jason Hunt, the guy you see spotting Overland P4X, the owner of this truck first built it out, and this is his first time doing a shakedown. All right, you're gonna slam here. So as you come down, press that brake. There you go, good, good. Another wheel lift. Nice. That was actually pretty darn easy. <laughs> No. Okay, so brake, feather that brake. I know it's pretty scary. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay, brake, brake. Okay. All right. Good. 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 You hear that uh, trash control crunching? Okay, brake. Oh, good. Good. All right. Good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Keep it going. Okay, just modulate that brake. Okay, brake, 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 brake. Okay, keep going. Kind of left foot, kind of, yeah, feather it, feather it. And you're going to be coming down right now. Good. All right, one more wheel lift, one more wheel lift. Okay, get ready to brake, brake. You did excellent, man. All right, break, break, oh, break. break. There, yeah, there, there you go. go. Nice. Nice. Very good, David. Okay, a little slower, a little slower. You don't need to go that fast. All right. I mean, you could if you want to, but you know, there's kind of, okay. Yeah, just, uh, just kind of go slow. Ooh wee, look at that, <laughs> look at that wheel lift. Okay, slow coming down, slow coming down. All right, here's another thing too, is um, traction control in this Honda, it really only works uh, up to about 1800 RPM. When you go, when your RPMs are faster than that, it actually kind of disconnects. So that's why David was able to slowly crawl up it, okay? Yep. You'll start hearing the crunching. You hear the crunching? Yep, that's the traction control system doing its thing. All right, slow coming down, slow coming down. Hit, get ready, brake, 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 brake. All right. One more wheel lift, last one. Okay, so what's happening here is you're just gonna have to bump it. So back up just like six inches. Back up, okay. Just a little bit, okay. Yeah, that's good, that's good, right there, right there. Okay, stop, left foot on the brake. What you're gonna do is you're gonna rev up to about a thousand RPMs, and then you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah. All right, try it again, try it again, try it again. So you're gonna, you're gonna bump out of this obstacle. But use, yeah, do it slowly. Uh, some momentum is better than no momentum. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, go, 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 go. just keep going. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, no trash control here. No, nothing. But you got uh, LSDs, right? Yeah, that flex is crazy. <laughs> He is using more momentum, but you know, when you got that much flex and you don't have trash control, there you go. <laughs> All right, so you just saw Lige's Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ. This is a vehicle that ran between 1998 to 2004. It made easy work of that obstacle because it has a front and rear solid axle. So a modern Jeep Wrangler, for example, that's body on frame, would also make easy work of that. I don't even think a wheel would go up in the air at all. 
So just want to let you know that there are levels to vehicles off-road capabilities. So if your goal is to conquer difficult obstacles, then something like a Jeep Wrangler would be the appropriate vehicle. If you want a destination overland where conquering obstacles is not the primary goal and you want to go to far off places comfortably or daily drive your rig, then a unibody all-wheel drive may be a better fit for you. Okay, so on this obstacle, we don't, we don't want you to damage your vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you come across something like this on your adventures, yeah. you're, what you could do is you could straddle the ruts. Everyone here is going into them because they're trying to practice, but what I worry, they're really deep ruts. They're about like three feet. And what I worry is if, well, what's gonna happen is if you go into them, you're gonna scrape your side skirts. Yeah, yeah. So we, unless you want to do that, I advise not do it. I advise just straddling it. Okay. So do you see your line? What you're gonna do is basically, I'm gonna walk, yeah. I'm gonna walk the line where you're gonna put your driver tire on, okay? Right. Yep. So this is the line. And you don't need to do this fast, okay? It's nice and controlled. Okay, good. Yeah, go a little more driver. There you go, and just go straight now. Straighten out, yep. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. All right, there you go. <laughs> Lee, do you got a locker? Do you got LSDs? This is what you want LSDs. Yeah. Everything on, like your center diff lock. What about a track? Uh, do you know how to left foot brake? Like how to bump it? Okay. There you go. Oof. Oof. Changing out the battery. Full independent suspension too. This one you're saying this one has the disconnect from sway bar. Yeah. I love the uh, over engineering <laughs> involved. Sorry guys, just gonna whoop.
he's on his side skirt. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching this episode. This is not meant to be an all-encompassing guide to left foot braking. It just shows you how it could help you get through an obstacle and how to prevent damage to your vehicle. We used this specific obstacle at this seat vehicle recreational area because it is leveled, it's flat, and it's just more controlled. There's a lot of different vehicle attributes that help you get through an obstacle like this. So I hope all the footage in this video helps you helps give you a better idea of what your vehicle might be capable of. So anyways, till next time, have fun on your adventures.